Hey everyone, welcome back to Three Dogs in an RV. My name is Stuart. Missy. And it's Saturday, Missy. It is. What does Saturday mean? It means we're going out for the day. It's Adventure Day! Yay! Adventure Day! Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying our videos. We try to make these fun. I mean, we're just a couple of schmucks with a camera, really. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, we're, we don't claim to be uh, experts of what we do. We're having fun and that's... Uh, that's the most important thing. We're uh, we work hard during the week and then play hockey a little bit on Friday. Yeah. Have adventure day on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then usually Sunday is kind of sit around, watch TV, do some work. Yeah, Sunday's kind of just kind of like chill. Got chill day. Yeah. yeah. And then we start up again on Monday. Today's adventure day. It's Saturday. Uh, we're still here in Arcadia, and where are we going today, Missy? Sarasota. We're going one of to my beautiful. Favorites. We're going to beautiful Sarasota. So yeah. stay tuned, and um, here comes our uh, short, cool little <laughs> intro. All right, everyone, welcome back to our show. Um, I do want to have everybody come along with our us on this journey, Missy. Okay. So you you don't know what I'm talking about right now, do no. you? No. <laughs> so anyway, it's day number two of us restarting keto. Yeah. So we started yesterday. We did okay yesterday. We didn't cheat, which was good. Uh, I think we ate too much meat though. But Probably. how can you say no to Frank's pork chops? Yeah, we're just gonna have to get some avocados and other things. Yes. Have some fat mint, that goat cheese I have in the fridge, yeah. So Missy and I, Missy and I have had a love-hate kind of relationship with keto. We've done it. We lost a lot of weight, mm -hmm. and then we stop and we put it right back on again, just like every other person that does keto and stops and starts. Uh, I've been following um, some a guy on YouTube now, uh, Keto Steve. I think I call him. That's what we talked about the other day. Uh, I don't think that's his name of his channel. I'll try to find his channel and link it down below. Uh, but uh, him and Thomas, uh, what's his last name? The health guy, anyways, yeah. Thomas. We haven't watched him in a while. No. But uh, yeah, we're on day number two of our keto uh, restart. I know talking to a few guys, like the people that live in our vision and a couple other full-time YouTubers that have love, hate, start, stop relationship with, with keto. We're bringing you guys along for our journey. So we don't have a scale in the RV. No. So uh, we, we know, we're gonna kinda guesstimate on how much weight we lose and maybe go to the doctors every once in a while. And well, get you'll be able to tell by your clothes fitting. Well, that's right. That's what, really I was gonna, need a scale. that's what I was going to say. You can always you know. go to Publix and That's right. <laughs> we can always go to Publix. That's right. <laughs> Not that we've ever done that because we haven't. But. Well, I'm, I don't think, I, you know what? For all the guys out there, all the guys watching this program, have you gone to Publix and walked on the scale? It seems to be only men that do that. Well, my father did it. My your dad your did dad it. did it. Oh, well, sorry, I'm not allowed to call my father father. He always tells me, he always corrects me. You know what he says? What? Son, father is at the church. Oh. So my dad does it, your dad does it. And every time we've been there, we've seen an uh, older gentleman. So I wonder what that age is, you know, where... You just don't care if other people you know. know? You, it's by default. There, is there an age set that says, okay, I'm at Publix now, I gotta walk up on the scale? No, I think it's just both when your dad and my dad did it, they were traveling and they were at our house for a length of time and I guess they didn't want but to it's not just our, scale It's just not our dads. It's, Almost every old guy yeah, I see. Well, maybe they're traveling probably, and they just want to well, see maybe. how much they I'm just, pay. I'm just, I just posed the question if there was a age where that becomes just SOP in your brain that I gotta go walk on the scale of public. Yeah, I don't know. I know that when we went to the doctors the other day, I guessed that I gained 17 pounds and I was bang on. So I don't know how I did that, but I was like, yeah, probably around 17. She and it, was like, exactly. <laughs> and I won't uh, comment on my wife's uh, disclosure there because she looks gorgeous as it is. Aww. But I'm a fat pig right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not at the heaviest I've ever been, but I'm getting freaking close to it. So that kind of scares me a little bit, knowing my medical history. So anyway, we're committed. Day number two of our keto. And uh, tell us what you think about keto because a lot of it, depending on who you ask, some say no, it's no good for you, others say no, it's really healthy and it's good for you. Um, I think if you do it the right way and don't load up on bacon every day, I think you're okay, but I don't know. I just know we did lose I'm, weight on it. I'm not a medical professional, and again, it's like this keto thing is like um, every other debate that's out there right now. Mm -hmm. Masks with COVID, uh, green energy, they're all, everybody has an opinion. Yeah. 
what opinion is right, only you can truly decide. So I'll leave that with you. If you yeah. guys are doing well on keto and you've been on keto for a while, all the power to you. If there's something else that works for you, great. Yeah. I know what works for me, yeah. and I'm not going to impose my will on other people. And nor, you know, if somebody asks me for an opinion, I'll give, I'll share my experiences. Yeah. All right, we're on our way to Sarasota, folks. All right, everyone, we're uh, on our way to Sarasota. We got a first stop, breakfast. Yeah. We're back at the Silver Star Restaurant. We were here a few weeks ago. Not even just last yeah, week. Yeah. <laughs> on our way to, uh, when we got our way back from Mayaka River State Park. So we're here in Mayaka City. I hope I pronounced that right. And we're gonna go have some breakfast at the Silver Star East. And we're gonna see how much we can do on keto friendly breakfast here. All right, Missy. Yeah. Is that a good keto breakfast? Yep. What makes it a good keto breakfast? Uh, eggs, ham, cheese, and tomatoes. Yeah, and I bacon. Watch the amount of tomatoes and bacon. And I got uh, some steak tips with some onion. I know the onion probably not keto friendly, and the tomato, folks. But uh, yeah, that looks like it's half decent though. All right, we're on our. Uh, we're all done breakfast here in. Uh, Mayaka City, Missy's got to have her uh, her smoke before we get going. I have to say I'm a little disappointed about breakfast here. Uh, we had dinner here the other night and it was half decent. And uh, what's that? The omelet was okay. Yeah, but the service was kind of lousy. Yeah. The the um, the waitress or the server the server who took care of us was in the back going like this. Oh my belly! So my belly. she either had a not well or she was all drinking too much last night. Maybe. But the service was not as good today as it was no. the last time. Anyway, we're gonna get ready and we're heading to Sarasota. All right, we're coming into beautiful Sarasota. It's coming into the main downtown area I believe this is. We got a mile until we have to turn and go on to another street here. But yeah, this is uh this is Sarasota and Missy and I just saw something really interesting. Now we didn't get a chance to uh catch it on video, but there was a huge big lizard in the middle of the road and some guy out there waving his hat trying to uh, shoo it back onto the grass. I don't know if he was successful or not, but uh, one can only hope the poor uh, lizard made it across the road. There's almost a joke there, Missy. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, there's almost a joke there. Stay why, in the middle lane. Why did the lizard cross the road? Because a guy was chasing it with his hat. Because a guy was chasing <laughs> it with his hat. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep uh, navigating here. Uh, my GPS is chirping away at me here, and we're going to navigate our way through downtown Sarasota. All right, so what, what were you saying about the condos, Missy, before I was saying, we had to change the camera around? Yeah, before COVID, we looked at condos downtown Sebring, where we just were. Sebring, Sarasota. Sarasota, sorry. And uh, I think they were like starting at 1.2. They were small. Um, that's why we decided against it. That and the price, I mean, it was <laughs> 1.2 million. Um, now they start from 2 million. So yeah, getting kind of crazy. Yeah, if we would have known in advance that they were going to go up that much, it might have been a good investment. All right, we made it without Missy and I killing each other on the journey. Hey, Missy? Yes, we did. We didn't kill each other. So, anyway, she just took off. Anyway, we're here, we're here at the St. Armand Circle in Sarasota, and we're going to spend a couple hours here just wandering around and seeing what's uh, what's here to see and show you some of the sights. And uh, yeah, just kill a couple hours here on a Saturday morning slash afternoon. So we're at the Ancient Olive Gourmet in St. Armand Circle in, in Sarasota. Great selection of cheeses, olives, olive oil, vinegars, you name it, all great stuff. So come and uh, check it out. Where are we at right now, Missy? Uh, I didn't see the name of the store. But it looks like it's a cheese and wine and yeah, uh, olive, oil. olive oil kind of store. So uh, a lot of stuff that we can't do on keto, like risotto and stuff, but uh, yeah, we'll look around anyways. So 
So these are all their suctions of oil. So olive oil look, look, looks amazing. So if you're in uh, St. Armand Circle, make sure you stop here and uh, get some of the great stuff they have here. All right, so one of the things on Beetle that I love to eat is this grass-fed cheddar cheese. So this one looks good. I've never had it, but Irish grass-fed cheese. Let's try it out. And of course, anything with Havana on it, it's gotta be good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get this too. Yeah, selections of olive oils here, I see. Yes. All of, our fa of all of our favorites. Yeah, it reminds me of that store in Niagara Falls. Balsamic vinegar. All kinds of great choices here. I'm trying to find, oh, this yeah. is. That was a neat little find. I love stores like that. You always find the best stuff in there. And you know the cool thing is, we they, you can leave it in their fridge as you go wandering around here at St. Armand Circle. Yeah, and just so, come back and pick it up. Yeah, just pick it up on the way back to the car. So there you go. So let's go see what else. I need a, I need a, I need a coffee soon. Yeah. Now, this was awesome. The 1905 salad. I'm gonna do the turkey. I'm sure Missy will do the shrimp one if that's what she's gonna have. But yeah, since uh, there's not a lot of things on the menu, unfortunately, that are keto friendly. I'm sure I can make it keto friendly. But since I just had breakfast not too long ago, I'm gonna just stick with it. I think I'm just gonna stick with the salad. All right, so Missy disappeared for like hours. Hours, ten and left me sitting here at the Columbia restaurant all by myself. Minutes. And she comes back with this. Yay. So Cuban co Spanish coffee. Yeah. So that's a big bag of coffee. It is. What does that set you back? Um, I don't know because I also bought a present for you. Oh, a present for me. Oh, yeah. So this was seventeen dollars. Okay. What what else did you buy? It's a present for you. Well, I wait, a present for me. Yeah. Well, you want to show it on the camera? No, it's all wrapped up. Wrapped up? What yeah. what, what, what? event is coming up that's, that just, warrants a present? Just a present, because I saw it and I thought of you. And oh. I liked it. All right. What well, is my birthday coming up in a month or so? There you go. Yeah. All right. Are they ever going to serve us today? That's what my question now is. Uh, yeah. We've been sitting here for about 10 minutes now, waiting, maybe 15. That's okay. I'm in no rush. No. So those must be our salads. They look yummy. So Missy, you're having the 1905 salad with shrimp. Mm -hmm. What is your uh, what is your early review on this salad? Really good. Really good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, and I got the one with turkey, and it's uh, there's um, I can't put my finger right on it, but there's some. Is it the the balsamic vinegar that's in it? But it's got a nice tangy taste to it. I'm not sure. It's got a nice tangy taste to it. All right, so Missy, on the keto scale, how keto friendly is this? Um, I liked it. It's really uh, except for the tomatoes, which I don't think that many tomatoes can really do anything? No. Um, but you, if you look in here, it's got olives, right? Yeah. You got shrimp and I have turkey. With we'll turkey, I think it's more leaner meat than, but shrimp's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think overall, it's fairly keto friendly. Yeah. Now keep in mind, we're trying to stay under 30 yeah. for carbs a day. So this much tomato, I don't think. I think, I think we're okay. Yeah. Better, better than this than uh, eating something with uh, you know a Big Mac or a quarter pounder of cheese. And fries. And fries. All right, Missy. Yeah. The best way to finish off lunch at a Spanish restaurant is with cafe con leche. Cafe con leche and a double Cuban coffee espresso. Oh, they give me all kinds of milk. I only put a little teeny bit in. Yeah. Milk's not keto friendly. No, I know. That's why I only put a little teeny yeah. bit in. Now, cream, heavy cream, yes. Yes. But not milk. No. Anyway, my coffee, no sugar, just plain coffee, which is definitely keto friendly, right? All right, so we've been at St. Armand Circle for almost an hour and a bit, and we've gone a whopping 50 feet. Hey? <laughs> okay?
Where? Right there. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't think New Jersey made good pizza. Well, I'm sure there's places in New Jersey that have good pizza. Yeah. Not all of them Buffalo pizza, although... No, Buffalo pizza, no, Niagara Falls, New York pizza. There's yes. a difference. Yeah, that's true. There's a huge difference. Yeah. yeah, so it's a beautiful day here in Sarasota. We're walking around St. Armand Circle, checking everything out. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better day for uh, February. Probably be April by the time people are watching this, though. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's still, still a great day here in February in Sarasota. And uh, we're kind of walking around St. Armand Circle. One trip uh, to you know anywhere is not complete with a without a stop at the cigar shop, right? Do you agree? Yes or no? All right, so we're stopping here at Bennington Pipe Tobacco Cigar Shop and more and cigars and gifts. Well, that's cool. Let's have a look. Well, that was a, a nice uh, cigar shop, but uh, no place to sit down and enjoy uh, some of the product and relax. So we're gonna carry on with our tour around St. Armand Circle. So, um, We've uh, almost done the complete circle. Yeah. So we're almost back to where we started, and uh, we're, let's go get our let's go get cheese. our cheese and our olives, and head back to the car because if you park for under two hours, it's free. Oh, okay. So maybe we're still under that two-hour thing. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we'll go and uh, go to the beach. How's that sound? Uh, yeah, you don't like the beach, do you? Wow. We could drive by the beach. Will you give me that and drive by the beach? Missy's not a beach person. Does that look like a beach person's face? <laughs> no. No. But well, considering I'm not dressed for the yeah, beach. Yeah, she's not either. dressed for the beach either. So anyway, we're gonna go and uh, get our stuff and then head back to the car. We're walking through the Columbia restaurant here again, out their patio outside. We didn't get a chance to rate that lunch. What do you, I, that salad has to be one of the best salads I've ever had in my life. Now, I know you probably don't scare, share that same opinion. Exactly. But it was pretty good, though, for you, right? It was really good. Yeah, she said it was pretty good. She didn't go, it's all right. I said it was really remember, good. Remember from other videos where I used to say, when I see all of you go, it's all right. I mean, it's not good. So she actually said it was pretty good. So she must, she must have enjoyed this one. I actually said it was really good if you listened. So it wasn't better than, it's all right. <laughs> Even with those sunglasses, you can still see the looks that kill. I think uh, I think Motley Crue wrote a, a song about that. Yeah. You you got the looks that kill. Sometimes I get them. Anyway, I still love her dearly. Okay, we're gonna get our stuff and uh, head back to the car. Parked at the parking garage here at St. Norman Circle for under two hours. It's free. And I think it's like three dollars for the uh, next hour after that, and then it's a buck for each hour following that. So. If you want to come here for a couple hours, park here at the garage, it's free. I don't think they extend the same courtesy to those that park on the street. No. So, uh, yeah, we're going to the elevator and now we're going to, I was going to go to the beach, but Missy gave me a face. So we don't know if we're going to hit the beach or not, but uh, number two, please. Are you ready? I am, yes. I'm sure you, we can come back another weekend. We have Second lots of more. weekends here. We can come back and then we'll go to the beach, but then I'll be dressed for it. Yes, because look at she's got her sweatshirt and her jeans on today. Well, because every time you go in a restaurant, it's freezing. Was it freezing today? No, not yet. No, there you go. We just haven't gone in somewhere that's freezing, though. All right, so we mentioned earlier that Missy's not dressed for the beach, but I said I'm going to go and have a quick look at it anyways, because it is such a nice day, and just uh, do a quick video here at Lido Beach, just outside of Sarasota on the Gulf Coast of uh, Florida. 
so it is a beautiful beautiful day here like i said and uh i don't know if you've ever been to the gulf side of the uh of florida but the beaches are just phenomenal now we were up at carabelle uh, a few months ago that's a different type of coast than what we're here in sarasota so you'll see the difference once we get up here Check this out, check out how long and how wide this beach is. Like this is, and this is pretty typical for this side of the Gulf Coast. Nice big beaches and the sand is pretty fine. So here's the, uh, here's the sand that's on this beach here. And you can see it's a uh, pretty nice white sand. Um, yeah, very fine sand. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day here. I'd say it's about 80 degrees and uh, it's, uh, you can ask for a better day for the beach. All right, so I left Missy in the car and uh, we're gonna head back, head back to the car now and uh, we'll head back uh, towards the RV, make sure the doggies are okay. And uh, yeah, we don't wanna leave them alone too long while we're, uh, while the weather's nice here. So we're gonna head back to the RV and uh, make sure the dogs are okay. What is she doing in there? All right, everyone, we're stopped here on the route to come leaving downtown uh, Sarasota, going towards uh, St. Armand Circle on Longhurst Key. Longwood Key. I have to double check that, make sure. Hey, anyway, um, that's the highway just be on the other side of the camera here is the 780. I believe that's the number uh, from leaving downtown Sarasota going to St. Arbor Circle. We pulled over here, just a little rest stop here along the way to get some pictures of the uh, of the bay here. A lot of activity out here, little sailboats out there, people kayaking. And of course, there's downtown Sarasota uh, behind there. And over here is uh, the key, and then the other side of that is the Gulf. So um, yeah, we just decided to pull over here, get some shots, and uh, show you everything about uh, what's over here. All right, so we're back in the car, and I just wanted to let you guys know the place that we stopped at just right there was Bird Key Park. We saw the sign. So uh, all right, now we're back in the car, heading back to the RV to see the doggies. You want to say that again? <laughs> Are we gonna stop by all these? We, they have, uh, keto buttons? we can, yeah. We want to put it in the GPS. This? Put it in the GPS, and let's get our way there. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Three Dogs in an RV. My name is Stuart, Missy. and we'd like to thank you for uh, checking us out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Yeah, subscribe. Make sure you, that really helps us. Yeah. And um, if you have a YouTube channel about RVing or travel, make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment because we will subscribe back. As you can tell, we don't edit these videos. <laughs> no, it's this is just us. Yeah. This is what totally you get. Us. This is what you get, man. This is uh we're natural. Yes. Yes. Not Hollywood. Maybe. Not Hollywood at all. <laughs> and uh make sure you um yeah, don't forget to uh follow us on our keto journey. Uh and we'll uh, keep you up to date there as well how we're uh, how we're progressing with that. And I'm going to make sure I keep my eyes on the road as I drive here because we're going through a little bit of construction. Stay in the right to yes again. All right. See you everyone. Bye.